Good morning, Modern Steaders. I broke out the new camera this morning. How's it look and how's it sound? Let me know. It's a beautiful morning out this morning. 47 degrees and we've lost a lot of snow. Most of the snow banks are even melted. <sighs> morning, Figaro. Hope's been staying out with the big goats during the day and at night I've been locking her up. And she doesn't like getting locked up at night by herself. So pretty soon, maybe even tonight, she might be staying out with the other goats. Come on in, girls. Here, let me get Hope out. I know, you want out. Come on out. No. Come on. I don't dare put my new camera down out here in the mud. I hope you're getting too big. You won't be able to get in the feeder pretty soon. I like it. She's growing so fast. The goat area is so muddy, and a lot of that mud is from us shoveling off the snow this winter and all the goats being out there. What that ends up doing is it ends up driving the frost deeper and deeper into the ground. So frost, ice, whatever you want to call it. So now all that frost and ice is melting, and it got deep, so it's really getting muddy and gooky and deep. So hopefully soon it should start drying out. I got a new bale of hay. I think the girls are gonna love this this hay. There you girls go. Oh, that sun feels so nice. You're doing a good job holding your own with the bigger goats. Even up here where the barn kit is, there's no snow banks. <laughs> Just that little pile. I love seeing that, guys. In a couple of days, we're gonna be going to the factory that made the barn kit and doing a tour of the factory. We can't wait for that. It's gonna be so much fun to see how they make that and all their other buildings. Good morning. Rush hour. Rush hour at New York City. That's it. That was a weird noise, Moose. We started with 30 Cornish Cross meat birds, and we have lost three of them for no apparent reason. They'll be healthy, then all of a sudden you'll just find one here, one there, just dead. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. I was looking to raise 25 Cornish Crosses, so I ordered 30. Let's go check on the Cornish Crosses right now, feed them, and see how they're all doing. They all seem healthy right now. Give them some more feed. Looking for some food. There you go. The water is staying nice and clean. Where's Hope? You're keeping her hostage? Hope! Come on Hope, you can come out. Enjoy the sun. It's nice out. Come on out! Come on! Hope, what are you doing? Come on! What are you doing? You napping? 
You napping fool, come here. Yeah, it's nice outside. Let's go out here. Come on. Come on, Hope. Come on. It's nice out. It's like Arizona weather. It's <laughs> winter weather, I mean. It's Arizona's winter weather out here, Hope. Look at that mud. Oh, it's nasty. You're standing in the new barn. What do you think of the location? You like it? Then we can drive down the lane and come over this way. We'll have the barn there. The goats can access the pastures over on that side and they can also access the fields over there. And we can see it from the house. So it kind of gets everything that we want in this one spot. The only nice thing about the lane is we need to be able to have winter access to our barn, so that provides already the road, we just gotta gravel it. Like, it's cool, it's there, we might as well use it, where if we put the barn any other location on the property, we gotta put a whole new driveway or road in to the building. Right, it's not like we're gonna not have to do that part. Right, no matter where we put the barn, we gotta be able to plow to it so we can get and access right all winter long. Because like this winter we had, what, six months, five, six months of winter? So you need to be able to get to wherever the barn is. Soon enough, Tiana, we'll let you go. Too funny. Too funny to let you go. It's too funny to let you just go running. Tiana, you want a drink? Hey, come here. Right here, look. You afraid of it? Oh, there you go. Oh. No, you scared of it? Drink it. Oh, the yummy. Oh, that's nice and cold, isn't it? Poodle. You're silly. You're silly. Come on, boy. Feels like spring has finally arrived here in northern New Hampshire. That sun is nice, the birds are chirping. I know we don't have any grass to weed back yet, but we can start taking down some brush that we need to clear up for where the barn's going. I was hoping to be able to do this all this past winter, but we had gotten so much snow it made it impossible to do what we're going to be doing now. This area over here we're going to be weed whacking and taking care of the brush is our back property line. We've never cleaned up down here before so if we get it cleaned up we'll be able to mow right to the rock wall or the stones that are back there on the property line which will be really nice. area but it looks a lot bigger. Nobody else mowed that before. So it's nice to be able to get in there with the motor, keep that cleaned up, keep it mowed down and we'll have good access behind the barn when we build the barn. The whole area was on, yeah. Yeah this whole area was 
stuff yep. down. So. Tonight we're gonna cook up a nice grass-fed roast from farmfoodmarkets.com. One of the nice things about farmfoodsmarket.com is all their meat is grass-fed and it's raised by five local farmers. It tells you on the label where it's from. This one comes from right there. And if you go on the website, you can find out more about the farm. And they're all small family farms. If you guys make a purchase at farmfoodmarkets.com, use promo code LA Roast. I'll have links in the description down below for the website and the promo codes. And by using the promo code, you do help support our channel, so we thank you for that. But it's so nice nowadays to be able to know where your meat comes from and how it's taken care of. I'm going to pat dry the roast. The drier I can get the roast, the better it's going to sear. I'm going to put some avocado oil on the roast. I'm going to put some onion and garlic powder on there. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Give it a quick sear on all sides. pieces of celery to stick in the pot when we roast it in the oven and we're going to cut up an onion it's seared nicely I'm going to pull it off Oh, it smells delicious. I want to add a little bit of broth in here for moisture and to keep it from burning. I'm going to add in a few pieces of celery for aroma and give it just some good seasoning. I wanted to put like a bay leaf on it now, you could. That'd be good too. I think we have some. Let me go grab one. Now we're going to put it in our 275 degree preheated oven. I know that probably smells good to you, Tanner, don't it? Oh, it smells delicious. And we'll check it in 40 minutes. I gotta wash off my cover because I used it. I think I'm gonna do some corn too because so we're gonna do some corn, some carrot, sweet potato, and some good roast. Can't wait. Oh, I'm gonna have some sauerkraut too. Get through that door. You too big to go through the door. 
What are you girls doing? I think you need some more water. Staying in the barn today. What yeah. if you just like drag your foot and make it flat? You're their entertainment, I guess. Usually that's what I do to people. You entertain them. It's so nice out, Livy's. Yeah. Yeah, it's 68 degrees. Finally our real first day of spring. Right. I used to see a snowbank right there. A huge one. There's just a little thing tiny one. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Where'd the snowbank go? It looks so different when it's not there. I know, you can actually see down the lane. Crazy. Yeah. It's so weird seeing grass everywhere. It's been such a long winter. We are getting some nice dark eggs laid. And this one right here has got some speckles on it. It's from one of the well summers. And I'm not sure which one of the Novagens is laying that dark egg, but that's beautiful. Ah. You're wearing capris and sandals? Does it feel good? Just from the greenhouse chickens today. Holy moly. They're still just starting to lay eggs, so we're still getting a lot of small eggs from the barred rocks. So here's a pullet egg versus a larger egg. So good. It smells delish. Let it rest for about 10 minutes. Bam. Mm. Smell is so good. He's like doing that to his. Really calm. Uh, you're not doing it now. Can man. I thought he was doing it to put up. Yeah, and he was all by himself. To to his calm. Mm, is that like steak? Mm-hmm. Nice big old roast. All oh, looks so delicious. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrot, corn, and delicious roast raise our own beef steer here we're not set up for it right now on the property so it's nice to know when we want to get a good quality cut of grass-fed beef we can go to farmfoodmarkets.com click on their website order it but we can also know what farm it came from and the backstory to the farm and that we're helping out a small family farm I just find it so encouraging and it I like to be able to help out what we believe in and we believe in 
good quality food. We believe in putting the time and the effort into raising the animals correctly and healing the land. So farm food markets help us do that. If you guys use the promo code LA Roast, you'll get 10% off your order and you also help support the channel. So if you do that, we want to thank you for that. Even if you don't, we want to thank you. You guys are always here watching the channel and supporting us that way. I know if you're here at the end of the channel, that means you're one of the modern steaders and you're always watching. So thank you for that. We all need to remember to embrace our weird. That makes us who we are and keeps it so much fun. I always have to tell myself that constantly. I'm always talking to myself in a positive voice throughout the day. Because if I don't, I just kind of get down on the dump sometimes. So I just want to encourage you guys to do that. It's okay to talk to yourself. But if you're going to talk to yourself, talk to yourself positively. There's enough negativity out there. We don't need to bring that into ourselves. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.